always saying that architecture should be full of wonder. And it's for you visiting architecture that you should be questioning the architecture itself and say, but why that? And because you wonder about whatever you you feel. So in that respect, architecture should be wonderful, right? Full of wonder. With my wife, we came to Sydney in, in I think it was June or July of 55 for the exhibition to stay for six weeks. Coming to Canberra at that time, I said, that one is, that one is my place. Not because the future could have been good for building, but because it was, I would say, completely, completely a void, you know, completely no history, nothing. And camera was perfect, total void, uh, fantastic light, this silence that was like music, you know, you go coming from Europe, you every time you want to design something, they said, oh, no, but you cannot do that because one thing and another, because someone there have left some, some ruin from 2,000 years ago, you cannot touch them, all sorts of things. And you are really op- op- oppressed by, the, by that. I was. And so arriving here and say, oh, everyone is, everything is, is clear, is tabula rasa, was fant- fascinating. And that's what I was saying, that Canberra was the ideal place to be. Dingo House, uh, first of all, uh, is on a, on a road, it's a cul-de-sac, and is facing the golf course. Right, so imagine that one. All the previous few houses on that street, they were facing the street. That is an old fashion of design. My position of the plan was to turn the 90 degrees, say, against the street. And you have a view and the orientation that is pointing in one direction, that was what the golf course. Uh, client are as important or in designing the house as the architect. Remember that design is is not something that that is easy to explain. You know, you you dare and you think something and you say, all right, we do it, oh it's it's crazy, so what? In actual fact, if the client is happy, I'm happy, that is how the design is coming. Client uh, at the Dingle House, they really didn't know what to expect. I've been able to convince them that the volume of that house, and remember that it's a small house in relation, it's 1950s, 60s houses, they were quite limited in, um, in costs. It was a magnificent time to design houses, but you had to be very strict with, with cost. Looking back at the Dingle House, I'm quite happy. I mean, that house is still, still functioning and, and being appreciated by the, by the user, which are not the original client, but by the user. Architecture is produced by the user and not by the architect at the end, you know. Uh, an unhappy person in one of my buildings make my building unhappy, right? So um, that is how I'm looking at Dingle House is good. Mm-hmm.